Yo, what is up guys, JD0 bringing you some Pokemon Sun Moon Wi-Fi battle. This is gonna be our second match today. Uh, I had a match earlier and now I'm gonna have a match with uh, Jason here. Is it Jason? Jason. Um, who's also from a Pokemon Amino. Um, who's gonna be in the battle battle and trade chats i know there's like a lot of uh battle and trade chats and stuff and whatnot so oh he just turned me down hold it wait a minute sending you a letter request sending sending you the battle request so I'm sending him the battle request so hopefully he can accept it and we can get straight into the battle. Uh, but yeah, just been trying to do stuff, trying to do this, trying to do that. And again, with the lagness of my computer, I don't know what the fudge is his problem. But this time it's not lagging right now, so I'm pretty sure that it's working fine. And he still has not accepted. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and send him the battle quest again. This time, hopefully, he can accept it. Before I go randomly on about stuff. Um, but yeah. Pretty much just trying to uh, do stuff before anything. I'm random. I'm random. I'm random. Hey, at least I'm doing live recording battles, you know? Usually, see, this is another thing that I kind of have like a, a sort of an issue. Because I know a lot of people feel like uh, I don't do live recording stuff and then it's like well how would you know if you don't do how do you how do you know if anybody has a problem with your non-recording or live recording stuff no one acts no one comments but I had one person who told me this in one of the group chats and I'm pretty sure you know this who it is because you saw me in a battle with this person. And I think this is the same person who I had a issue with with the whole legendary concept thing. But again, it was like, no, I think it was someone else. But again, like, like I said, my problem with me doing live recording, it's just the fact that I can't do live recording all the time because I have, I have work on top of that and then every time when I do request a battle sometimes you're you know you're not not everybody's there to accept the the recording or accept the battle or to do this or to do that and such forth so that's why I'm like okay well you know, what can I do in this situation, right? There's nothing I could do in that situation because there's no one to generally be responding on time to accept the battle to make me do the live battle request thing and then also on top of that, you know, just to get it done and over with when I have people coming in and out of my recording station. So that's another thing. That's another problem. Let's see. How would I do this? Because he has Tup of Coco. Ugh, ugh, I hate Tup of Coco. The only thing I could stop a Tup of Coco is something rock heavy. Hmm. I could bring Ed and Eddie to do some scouting. 
Let's see, what, what do I have on here? Uh, yeah, I could do some scouting. With uh, Ed, Ed, and Eddie. My duck trio. And then whatever happens there. But, you know, hey, at least it's not too laggy, I think. I think it's not too laggy. So... That's a good thing, it's, it's going pretty decently fast right now, it's not lagging right now, but it looks like it's lagging, so it is what it is. Try to do the best recording I could do for you guys. He does sit out his Blaziken, so I'm guessing he's going to probably do a, a Protect. I'm going to go for the Stuff Rocks. Oh, he doesn't go for the Protect. Hey, that's interesting. Usually, you would go for like, you know, protect or something, but he goes for a sword dance and he has a speed boost. So he's gonna hit me and get a speed boost. Uh, I was gonna go ahead and go for the EQ. He could blaze kick me all he wants and get a one shot, but hopefully, I can earthquake him. And still get a, a single damage off. He, he did get the burn, so that kind of decreased my chances of killing him. But hey, at least I got the stealth rocks up. That's all that matters when it comes to stealth rocks. It does suck that he does get the speed boost. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and choose Godzilla. Uh, I don't think a plus two, I don't think I can outspeed his, his Blaziken from my range. And if I can, then that's awesome, but I don't think I can outspeed his Blaziken. His shiny Blaziken, I think it is, but it's going to be hard to see. Cause even if I am Toy Scarf, yeah, I wouldn't be able to outspeed. Uh, and he is able to one shot, and it's a crit. I think he's probably gonna sweep my team, cause he already at plus two, so there's n literally nothing I could do. And that's what I kind of hate about Blaziken, cause of that. It's like you can't really do anything towards Blaziken to really take out Blaziken I could probably make him switch into whatever he wants to switch into I got a beta switch if it's possible but I highly doubt that he's gonna trigger that switch at all Cause he's still probably gonna go for a high jump kick to take out the Blastoids. Knowing the fact that it is my uh, Lucario. He's gonna go for a Stone Edge instead. That's good enough damage as well. Either way. Yep, he, he's pretty much gonna sweep the team. I Like I said, there's nothing for me to do here. He's just generally gonna sweep out he's gonna pretty much sweep the team I can't really do anything I could go for a priority move but I don't know if he has protect on him and that's another thing if protect it's he can't run protect he probably can't run protect he probably does have a priority move he probably doesn't have a priority move I don't think my Naruto can't really do as much damage to the Blaziken to take it out. If I get a crit, then that's fine. I could probably take it out with a crit. But if I cannot take it out at this range, then it's... Oh, well, it's pretty much GG for me. He already took out three of my Pokemon. There's really nothing I could do about this. So I'm just waiting for what he decides. 
I I see nothing wrong for me to take out his one Pokemon in the first place. Just one Pokemon. Ah, okay. Well, I didn't get the crit, so that's that's decently fine. And did he die off to the sand? He dies off to the sand. That's that's great, but you know that puts me in a general bad position because of what he has on his side one being this pokemon here his probably his mega so generally all i could do is shallow ball and shallow ball is not going to really do that much to a psychic steel type So it's up to him if he wants to stay in to take this Shadow Ball. Again, Shadow Ball is not going to do as much. I pretty much was at a disadvantage when I came in, so. Uh, it is what it is. It's either it's up to him if he wants to stay in, take the Shadow Ball. He takes the Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball does not kill it. He goes for the Meteor Smash. He does not Mega. And he still kills me. So... Uh, that's, that's a thing there. <laughs> that's a thing there. Uh, one, I am going to go for Mega. I'm going to go for the Dark Paws. Again... He is also going to go for Mega. I knew this thing was his Mega, so he's going to go for the, I guess, still the late game Mega, but it's not even that late into Mega. He pretty much, I'm pretty much going into late <laughs> Mega. I wish I could use Mega uh, Lucario. That would have been nice to have in my back. What, I get flinched? Oh, no, sir. Why? Why me flinch? Why me flinched? Of all things, why me flinched? Oh, okay. GG. <laughs> GG. <laughs> okay, GG. That, that's pretty much ends it right there. I didn't even have a... GG. Uh... Apparently that's that just happened. I just got my butt swept. Wow. It was his Blaziken. Like how am both It's hard to make a decision when it comes to Blaziken because he's either you're gonna protect or something's gonna basically take you out. Or you don't go protect, you go for a source sense, get a get two percent boost. And see what happens. Uh, so I got the end short of the stick there when that just happened. So uh, GG to uh, Jason. Oh my god. GG to Jason. I just sent them a message. GG. Uh, Again, comment, share, scrub, bash that like button, picture, squirt, or say it's on sale. Awesome, guys. Bye.